get started. Are y'all ready? Yeah. I don't know about you all, but I'm excited. Are you excited? Yeah. All right. Now, wait a minute. I can hear everybody. Yeah. yeah. Come on, back row. Are you excited? Yeah. All right. Come on, grown ups. Are you excited? Yeah. yeah. Are you going to let them out do you all? No. Praise the Lord. You know what we all should do, really? We're not going to do this, guys. We should do this. We should kick off our shoes. Do you know why we should do that? Because we're on holy ground. Amen. You know what God said to do? He told Moses, he said, you're on holy ground. Praise the Lord. We are in the presence of Jehovah God tonight. Okay? And I want you to get that in your spirits. You're in the presence of the Almighty God. He walks up and down these aisles. We can just reach out and touch Him. If we can see him in the spirit world, we can just reach out and touch him. Let me tell you something. You're not here by accident. Okay? This wasn't just a random thing. This is going to be like no other service you've ever been in. And maybe some of you have not even been in service here, before. Here. Praise the Lord. But this is going to be different than anything you've ever experienced. And this is not, this is not just an just a, uh, accident. God ordained you to be here tonight. Okay? Yes, amen. And I believe that with all my heart. There's things that's going on this week, young people, that if I were to tell you, you really couldn't even understand the, the depths yeah. of it. You really couldn't understand how, how important, how significant that it is. Okay? But it's not any accident that you're here tonight. Okay? So just like uh, T.D. Jake says, y'all may not know who that is. That's a big preacher from Dallas. But he gets on there every week and he says, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. Praise the Lord. So yeah. I want yeah. you to get ready now. Are you ready? Yeah. 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 Are you ready, brother? Yeah. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. You know, Jeremiah 1.5 says that before uh, we were formed in the womb, He knew us. Amen. Before you were ever thought of in this world, God knew you. Amen. He knew that you were going to be here tonight. So, this is for you. This is for you, young lady. This is for you, young man. This is for you, little girl. This is for you, grown person. This service tonight is for you, teenager. It's for you. <coughs> can you feel it? Amen. I can feel it. I can feel it. I want to tell you about uh, what happened, how the service came to be. A couple weeks ago, we had a meeting with some of the teachers here. And during our little meeting, we decided that we needed to have a youth revival. Which Sister Galen had felt a, a leading of the Holy Spirit about a, a youth rally. And so we began to check on youth rallies. And the, the next coming up youth rally... It's all the way in Orlando, Florida. And it's going to cost a lot of money to go there. So we knew that was out of our league. Okay? So we began to contact other preachers in the, in the association, in the, in the denomination. We began to ask them about youth rally. And we didn't really get a whole, whole lot of encouragement on that. So we thought, we'll do something ourselves. Okay? If nobody else is willing to do something, we're going to do something Amen. here. Amen. We're going to be willing to step up to the plate. Okay? So two weeks ago, just two weeks ago, we decided we was going to have this service here tonight. And... Uh, I've never done anything like this before, okay? It's been years since I've even taught in a classroom. But never in my life have I ever had a service like Praise this where God. I was basically Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, leading Jesus. the service. Yeah. So I was worried, and I was talking to my daughter, Natalie, last Sunday night on the way to church. I said, Natalie, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to tell these people that's going to come. And right at the time I said those words, we had a, a CD playing in the car, and across the speakers came these words. Say the name of Jesus. And so I felt like that was a right word from God. And that, that is exactly what we're going to do tonight. We're going to talk to you about Jesus. Some of you all may know who he is. Some of you may not. Some of you may think that you know who he is, but really you've got the wrong idea. Okay. So we're going to get into the word tonight later on, and we're going to talk about Jesus. And I want to prepare you right now. Because at the end of this service, we're going to ask you, to make a decision about him. And maybe you think that you made a decision about him years ago, but you've not really been walking with him. Or maybe you think that you're a good enough person that you're going to get into heaven. You don't need to make any kind of decision tonight. Or maybe you even think that you're so bad a person that you can never, but God can never say that. But we're going, to, we're going to teach you tonight that all of those things are wrong. Okay? We're going to teach you through the Word. But I want you to prepare your mind tonight, right now. And at the end of the service, you're going to make a decision one way or the other. And you're either going to 
accept him or you're going to deny him if, if, you, if he leads on your heart. Okay? But I want to I prepare you that, for that right now. 